So this is the story of Al-Hussein radiallahu an and the martyrdom of Al-Hussein radiallahu an, the grandson of the Messenger of Allah sallam. What can we learn from this story? First of all, I mean, there's many lessons we can learn, but if we were to take some of them, uh, one of them is the prophecy of the Messenger of Allah sallam coming true. First of all, with the example of Al-Hassan, being the leader and you know reconciling between two great Muslim armies, but also another hadith which is mentioned via numerous narrations, where it said that uh, in Tabarani and in others, it said that the Messenger of Allah he said, "Verily, Jibril has come to me." And some narrations mentioned he was crying. He said, "Jibril has come to me." The companions were there. He said, "Jibril has come to me," and he has said to me. In هذا Hussein مقتول. Verily, your son, your grandson Hussein, is going to be killed. وَإِن شِئْتَ أُرِيتُكَ الْأَرْضُ الَّتِي يُقْتَلُ بِهَا And if you wish, I will show you the land on which he will be killed. And so the sand from that area was brought to the Prophet ﷺ, and the Prophet ﷺ was crying. And so, of course, the, the narrators and those who were there, they said that we realized later that that area was, of course, Karbala. So... This is a prophecy. This is showing us that the Messenger of Allah Sallam knew that this would happen. And, you know, it's interesting with regards to prophecies. You know, because people say anyone can make a prophecy. You know, how do we know they were real? How do we know they were authentic? How do we know that those prophecies were actually going to happen? You know, anybody can make prophecies. And then they'll say if prophecies came true, for example, Muslims conquering Sham, which is what the Prophet uh, prophesied would happen, they'll say, they'll call it a self-fulfilling prophecy. Anyone know what that means? A self-fulfilling prophecy. What it means is, the Prophet ﷺ will prophesy something's going to happen. People will want to do it because the Prophet ﷺ said that it's going to happen. So it's self-fulfilling. The only reason it happened is because the Prophet ﷺ said it happened and people wanted it to happen, so they did it. That's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. So they say, you know, of course these things would happen because they're self-fulfilling. Little do they know, you know, the circumstances and the impossibility of those prophecies even happening. Okay, so for example, the prophecy of the Muslims conquering Sham. When did this hadith, when, he did, when did he say this? When did he say, I see the, you know, the, the gates of Sham and the, the, uh, the land of Sham being conquered by the Muslims? He's saying this when the Muslims are surrounded by all of the Arabs and they're literally surrounded and they're about to be you know, killed by the majority of the Arabs, around 10,000 some say, during the Battle of the Trench. Where basically they're surrounded by the, by Arab, by the non-Muslim Arabs. And they're, about, they're, they're going to be killed. And they're, 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 they're basically they're, they're, they're digging the trench. And, you know, they're worried about what's going to happen in the future. Because Muslim, Islam is at risk. That's when he's saying Sham is going to be conquered. Like, the, oh, the things that have to go right, okay, you know, for, for the next 20, 30, 40 years, for someone to say something like this, even non-Muslim historians, they say it's like the equivalent of the Eskimos conquering America. That's the equivalent. Some random people in the desert, in Arabia, conquering the Roman Empire. And the jewel of the Roman Empire was Sham. It was Sham. The capital of the Roman Empire uh, was actually Damascus. Many people think it's like Italy or, or Rome in Italy, but it was Damascus. That was the jewel. So, subhanAllah, for someone to say this, you know, it's not really self-fulfilling. And even if for argument's sake we say it was, what about some of these prophecies? The Messenger of Allah prophesizing that al Hussein, his own grandson, is going to be killed. Like, if anything... Uh, you know, a fake prophet, what's he going to say? He's going to say, my grandson will become a king or a leader. He's going to lead the people. He's going to be an honorable person. But instead, he's saying, al Hussein is going to be killed. And he's crying. You know, and that wouldn't be a self-fulfilling prophecy. You wouldn't want to die. You know, you wouldn't want to basically, like, you know, be, be a risk and end up, you know, causing yourself to die. You want to live as long as you possibly can. And so again, this shows us the truthfulness of the Messenger of Allah because he prophesied that this would happen.